Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, every, each week I post a new video on Dynamics 365 content. I usually upload those videos on Tuesday, so if this content interests you, go ahead and hit subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. So what we're gonna do today as an example is we're going to create an app that lets us display shipments, display shipment details, and actually confirm the shipment from a mobile app. We'll do that when we get right back. Like I said, we're going to create an app today that's going to allow us to view our shipments, going to be able to view shipment details, and actually confirm a shipment, right? So you can use this mobile application infrastructure really to, to look at any screen that Dynamics 365 has on your phone. So we can put different actions. You can do ads. You can do deletes. Today, we're just going to do an, an action that's just a, has no, just a confirmation, right? So like I said, you can really do this with any screen within Dynamics 365. So think about, you know, if you wanted to, you know, have a screen that uh, on your phone to view location. So if you're walking around the, the warehouse, you can, you know, view the location uh, profile on the uh, location or just really anything you want uh, in, in this app. All right, so let's go ahead and start building our app. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the, uh, the settings of the gear icon here. And you have an option called mobile app. So we'll click on that and we're going to create a new one. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and create. And let's just call this one, um, let's call it the app name Shipments. And then I'm just going to call it Shipment App in the description. And we can, you know, det determine what color it's going to be and an icon. Let's go ahead and we'll make this thing, uh, we'll make it grape and we'll make, uh, since we're doing warehouse, there's probably like a, uh, I don't know, we'll just use, uh, put the delivery truck on there. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a page. And let's go ahead and click add page. And this is going to be a shipment list. Because I just want a page that lists all the different shipments. You know, call it list, list of shipments. Okay. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to navigate to the screen that we want to add our fields from. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the all shipments screen. That's under warehouse management and shipments. Then all shipments. We'll navigate to that screen. And then we'll go ahead and click our select fields button here. And basically what we want to do is we want to select the fields that are going to be on the list page of our app. And I'll show you the app here in just a second. I forget that this done. So the, the items that I want on my list page, I'm going to put the shipment ID. I'm going to put the shipment status. And let me just put the customer number and name maybe. Or let's just put the customer name on that. So that'll be our, our list page. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and hit done here. And that'll, that'll finish up our page. And I'm going to hit back. Actually, before I hit back, let me... Um, let me... Uh, do one other thing. So what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to click on the grid here and go to properties. By default, you get the style is simple and that doesn't show any of the field headers. I, I like to see the field headers, um, but I'll show you if I change it to car, it's going to give me the, the, the field, um, field names next to it. I like that better. So I'm going to change that here and I'm going to go hit back and I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to save that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish that so we can take a look at just that page we did. So I'm going to hit publish here and it'll tell me that my app has been, uh, been published. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the app on your phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my app store and I'm going to go ahead and click on search. And then I'm going to, in the search box, I'm going to click on dynamics or I'm going to type in dynamics, I should say. And that'll pull up Dynamics 365. Now, the first one that comes up here on my app is, a, is the CRM app. But if we go ahead and scroll on down, there's one that's kind of got like a purple squares in it and it says Finance and Operations. Install that app. That's the one you want to do. So go ahead and click on Install. I've already installed it, so it's got an open icon on it. But just uh, go ahead and install it as normal. Now, once you have it installed, if I go out to my home screen, uh, it'll show up just like we saw the little icons will show up as little purple squares. So I've got that there and I can click on those. All right. So now that we have the, the app installed, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and 
I already have my environments in there, but basically you uh, copy and paste your, your environment root URL in that. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. And it'll ask you to um, uh, accept the terms of agreement here. So we'll go ahead and connect, connect there. And then it's gonna ask me to log in, so I'll log in here real quick. All right, so now that I've logged in on the phone, I've got uh, the shipments app here. It automatically shows up because I published it previously, right? So if I go ahead and tap on the shipments app, it'll come up and it'll load. So here's our, our shipment list page that we created. And if I click on the shipment list, it's gonna load up. I have uh, three shipments here in the, uh, in, the, in the system right now that are open, right? So on the all, sh all shipments page. All right, so I've got the three shipments here. So let's go back and let's add some details to it. So this just gives us a list of all the shipments, but uh, maybe we want, some, we want to be able to tap into each one of these and um, get some more details on it. So let's do that. Okay, so as we saw on the phone, what that does is that gives us a just a list of these shipments here. If you remember, we had three shipments on our phone and, and here's three shipments on the all shipments page. But um, you know, maybe we want to click into the shipment and get other details like the number of shipment lines, maybe the volume, the weight. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and do that next. So what we'll do is we'll add another page for apps. So we're going to go down and find our app. And we're going to go into shipments. And then we're going to go in and hit edit. And then we'll go click on our page. This is our shipment list page. And we're going to hit edit again. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this grid here. And then we're going to click on properties. And then we're going to add a page, right? So we're going, to, we're going to add a details page. So you can select an existing or add a page. I'm going to click add a page. And then we'll, we'll put um, shipment details is the description on that. And, we'll, and the same for the description. Details. And then click done. All right. So that's going to create a page for us. And now what we're going to do, we're already in the all shipments page. But we're going to go ahead and select some fields, some additional fields. Maybe we still want the shipment ID in our details. Let's say that we want the uh, shipment lines, the containers, um, sure, volume and weight, we'll do that. And let's just see if there's anything else that we might want. I will leave it at that for now. That'll be fine. So, so we'll add these fields to our, um, to our details page there. So we're going to click done on that. And we're gonna hit back and back again. And we're gonna hit now notice, actually, before I hit done here, we'll notice now I've got two pages here. I've got the shipment list and the shipment details. I'm going to hit done again, and I'm going to save that. And just tell me I'm going to overwrite an existing one. I'm going to say yes. And let's take a look and see what that looks like. All right, so what I've done is I've, I've basically, I've logged out of the app, logged back in. That seems to be the best to refresh the app. I, I think in some changes, it seems like it takes the... Um, I can just hit refresh on the app and some changes it, it seems like you just have to log out, log back in. So what I did was I just logged back in and out of the phone and I'm back to my shipment app. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the shipment app and then I'm gonna click on my shipment list page that we created. So now here we have our three shipments still, okay? So now I have a details page, so I should be able to click on any of these um, shipments. So I'm gonna click on this first one, this uh, one that ends in three here. I'll tap on that one. And then here's our details. So there's our, our shipment ID. Remember we added the shipment lines, the number of containers, the volume and the weight, right? Okay, so we've added um, some, some details to our app. Now, you can also add what's called actions, all right? So what we're gonna use this app for is we're going to use this app to confirm our shipments, right? So if you remember in the all shipments page, there's a confirm button. And so we're gonna use this app to when a shipment is loaded, we're going to use the app to confirm the shipment. So let's take a look at how to set that up in the app next. We're going to create an action. All right, so to add an action, we're going to go back into our mobile app. So I'm going to scroll down to the shipments, go ahead and click edit. And then I want to do the action. So I can do an action from here, but I actually want to do it on the shipment details page. So I'm going to click edit on the shipment details, and then I'm going to click actions. And then what you want to make sure that you're on is you want to make sure that you're on the page that you want to do the action on, right? So now technically when I when I hit confirm on the, any of these shipments because they're not loaded yet, it's just going to give me an error, but this seems to work fine. I just need to uh, to perform the action. And in the background, it's just using the task recorder. It's kind of neat. I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, click add action. 
And then I'm going to call this one confirm shipment. And the description will be confirm shipment. And we'll click done. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to select the fields. Now this particular action is not going to have any fields, but no, when you when you do this, it will add the fields that you fill in. So if you're doing a record where you're where you're doing a new shit new record, like if you're adding a new customer, for example, and you fill in the customer name, you know the customer group, all that kind of stuff, it'll start adding the fields here to the left. The, our action here that we're going to record today doesn't have any fields that we're going to add. It's just going to be a confirmation. So there's not, it's not, you're not going to see any fields get added over here. But if you do use this for something else and you're, and you're doing uh, like a, again, again, like a new, it'll show up the fields that you're touching will be over here. So remember, this is acting just like the task recorder. So what you want to do is just do the exact action that you want to happen, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to shipment and then I'm just going to click on confirm shipment. And I'm going to get an error just because, you know, this one is um, in process. It's not loaded yet, but uh, for what we're trying to do here, it will be fine. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to close the page that you're, um, that you're doing the action on. And it will say this is going to automatically end the uh, process. I'll hit close there. Now, what you can do is if you click on the little ellipsis here, the three dots, and we click the job steps. Like I said, this is going to be just like the task recorder. So it's going to record each of the steps that you did. So you notice it just says open the pane, click shipments, click confirm shipment, close the page. Okay. So that's all it's done there. So let's go ahead and go back and we'll go ahead and go back again and we'll click done. And then we're going to save this and we're going to overwrite the existing one. So what I'm going to do is we're going to switch back over to the phone, but I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a simple one line order. That's going to create a shipment. I'm going to go and pick and pick that shipment and get it over to bay door. So it's loaded and then we can confirm that shipment. Okay. For our example on using our action button, here's what I did. I've created two sales orders. They're exactly the same. It's 88 and 89 to cave wholesales for the same item number. It's got an A triple oh one and I've gone ahead and picked it and it's at bay door. So if I look at the shipments on both of these they are both loaded now. So we've got these two shipments now that it's 30 and 31 that are loaded. So let's go ahead and see how we can use that action button now to uh, confirm these shipments. All right, so I'm back in my phone. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the shipments app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that now. And then we still have our shipments list that we created. So this will give us our, our shipments. So notice the top two here are 30 and 31, and both of those are marked as loaded. So let's go ahead and click on the 31. And so we still have our details there. So we have our shipment lines, our containers that we did earlier, our volume and our weight. So this is our details page that we created earlier. And then, um, so now we have, if we look at the very bottom of the app, we've got an actions down here. So we click on the actions. We have our confirmed shipment action. So let's go ahead and click on that. And it's just gonna give us our task recorder details here. So we, we're gonna confirm the shipment. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press, press done. And then it's gonna sync this change, all right? So once this is done, we're going to go, I'm going to go back and technically, so I haven't refreshed this yet, so it still shows there, but I'm going to go and refresh it. We should see 31 go away. And notice it goes away because now it's confirmed. It's, it's going to be off of that. All shipments page is basically going to, um, it shows a ship, so it goes away from the all shipment page. So we're left with 30. So let's just do that one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the 30 and we'll do the next one here. So we, this is again, our details page. So we're going to click actions confirm shipment, and then we're going to click on done. And that'll sync that change. And let me get back out of this. And then if I just pull down to refresh, now the 30 is gone. Okay, so we're back in our all shipments page and, and I just did a refresh here. So our 30 and 31 are gone now, but if we go and click display close shipments, now we see 30 and 31 are now marked as shipped because they've been confirmed. Okay, so today we built an app that allows us to view our shipments, view shipment details, and actually confirm a shipment from a mobile phone. So it, the mobile infrastructure is really powerful because it allows you to just take any screen within Dynamics and create a, an app on your phone for it um, or any kind of mobile device. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a like and thumbs up. 
Um, I create a new video every Tuesday, so if this content interests you or you like these videos, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, so you get notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, thanks for watching.